Welcome. Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a little short story time for you guys. Um, so my friend Jeannie has been telling me that I should do a story time about Walmart because I used to work there and I have a lot of little stories that are interesting. So I'll just get started. So when I first started working at Walmart, I worked in the hardware department um, and our paint counter looks over at the last register at the front of the store. And so <laughs> I am mixing paint for somebody and I'm just working the paint. I don't know how else to explain it. When this man is at the end of, you know, towards the end of the front of the store, end of the front of the store, towards the front of the store where the counter overlooks and he's just going, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, miss! And then I realize he's, like, talking to me. And I'm like... There's paint shaking behind me. I don't like to leave the paint because one time I did that and as I walked away, the entire can started shaking everywhere and my manager was walking up the aisle and I had to do this mad turnaround and that's... So I don't like leaving the paint. And so I was like, okay. And so I, like, leave the paint counter to go see what this man needs. And so I'm like... Hi, sir, like everything okay? And he goes, I really need a root beer. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, well, root beer's down over in, he goes, no, I need you to go get me a root beer. I need like whatever kind of root beer he needed. He was very specific. And then he was like, and I need you to go get it for me. I've been on my feet all day. I can't do it anymore. I need you to go get me that root beer. And I was like, sir, I'm really sorry. I said, I can't do that for you right now. I'm helping another customer in paint. I said, if I could, and I was getting to, if I could get him somebody else, it would just be another minute. But he didn't want to wait another minute for his root beer. No, he like flipped out until my coworker had to come over and be like, hey, we'll call him Don. It's not his name. He's a known guy in the store apparently though. So, hey, Dawn, um, you know, what's up? What's going on? Like, why don't we, you know, what, what's going on? I just needed my, I need my, you know, my root beer. And, and, he's, and he calms down for, you know, my coworker. And, you know, he knows my coworker pretty well. That coworker was my cousin. He, he, he really liked me and didn't yell at me for root beer anymore. So, <coughs> they got dawn away from me and I was able to go back to paint and that was that but I remember just being really confused um in that moment because I was like I don't or so I'm I don't know so the next story I will tell you guys about working at Walmart is more so just a cautionary tale um people get really aggressive about their eggs and their milk I can't tell you specific times that I would come out of the dairy fridge because I would be working in the back and the doors, you know, you, you've seen a dairy fridge at Walmart, girl. You know how the doors are. You open them up and there's a storage in the back. So working in the back and, you know, people would constantly, they'd open the door. Hey, is any, anybody back there? And you'd think this was going to go fine. And so is anybody back there? And you go out and you're like, hey, like, yeah, be out in just a sec. You, so you go out and it takes a second because the door has to roll up. It's just a process. And so I come out multiple times. Do you have humble, like in the gallon? Like humble. Well, we do have humble brand, but we don't have the gallon. We have the. <sighs> Never mind. Okay. Hi, do you have, I need like, like organic brand milk. Yeah, sure. Like right here. Like this is all of our again. Seven dollars. A little ridiculous. Stacy, you want organic brand milk. I don't know what else do you want. It like it, it's organic. Like so that happens with milk constantly if the brand that people want is not there or if something changes in the like I can't remember what it's called, but Walmart gets new brands and whatnot sometimes and things switch out and um 
things go away. It's just, it, it happens. And so if the milk that they wanted before isn't there, or if there's some new milk that you told them wasn't there before, they get really mad and tell you that, like, you lied to them. So that's fun. Or if it was there before and now it's not anymore, you also are lying to them because they know it is here because it's been here before. Well, guess what, Janice? If it's been here before, that means it's been here before and might not be here now. So <laughs> that's pretty much the same situation with the eggs. They're right next to each other where I used to work. And so people would usually complain about eggs and usually complain about milk in around the same time period. So... Let me know if you guys like this video and I will think up more that happened and just let me know what you thought because I... <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And if you really like my videos and you just, you think I'm the bee's knees, um, hit that notification bell. My phone, there we go. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified every time I post a video. Um, see you guys when I see you.